More questions? Splendid! I would be happy to assist you. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We got something really exciting today, folks. A custom build, or actually multiple custom builds, from an Etsy shop called Spartan Prop Creations. I've been in contact with Carson from Utah for quite a little while now, and he sent me this beautiful box filled with four really awesome 3D printed Halo merchandise pieces. I don't know quite how to describe them. They're like miniatures, they're replicas, but they have lights and they are gorgeous. Like, I'm really, really hyped to show all of these off today. I would really appreciate it if after this video you check out Spartan Prop Creations on Etsy and maybe try and support a fellow Halo creator. He sent me this for free and I really do appreciate it. I've taken a little peek, you know, um, not too much. Obviously, he didn't send it in a plain brown box with one piece of duct tape. No, I clearly inspected the insides, but I didn't test any of the lights out. I didn't really take the models out of their packaging. I just had a look to make sure everything was there. And with it came this note. Hey, I'm Carson and thank you for taking a liking to my shop. I hope you enjoy these fun little desk lights as much as I do. I specialize in designing and 3D printing miniature Halo desk lights. If you love these little creations of mine, then stay tuned to my store for more awesome products coming soon. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help the best I can. Best way to get in touch is through my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash Spartan Prop Creations. And I googled just Spartan Prop Creations. You can find him there as well. Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much, Carson. This is going to be a really great video. I'm so excited. And this is not the first time I've done an Etsy review. A lovely lady sent me a custom Master Chief croquet. Crochet? <laughs> croquet. Wait, croquet is the sport. Crochet um, <laughs> Spartan. And she also makes elites. This guy specializes in desk lights. Desk lights, like kind of just miniature renditions of famous Halo things. But you'll see just what we have inside. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> I say eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I know which one's on top. And this, I'm so excited about this. As you guys know, Halo ODSTs are my absolute jam. Halo 3 ODST. ST is my favorite Halo game. And when Carson messaged saying he would send some stuff, I said, please, please send me the drop pod. Oh, look at that. Wow. So to reiterate, guys, these are 3D printed, man. Okay, so we got a nice little stand. And yes, this is all 3D printed. You can tell, I think the most common attribute to 3D printing is these lines through the product. But I would also like to paint these one day if I have the opportunity. I think this will come off, won't it? Yeah, look at that, wow. So that's a light inside. And he actually included a few spare lights so you can replace them. Um, and I think they're really cheap to buy replacement lights. So I think these basically last forever. Very sturdy, very rugged like that. That is some that is some hard plastic. Really love that. Just a little, oh, oh, we got a flicker. Wow, yes, look at that. Yo, that is so cool. A drop pod, man. A light up drop pod, <laughs> that's so sick. This is how far technology has come in the last 10 years. 3D printing has just exploded. Oh, I just noticed as well, look at that. That is a little magnet. So this, whoa. <laughs> Are you serious? I thought you'd have to clip it in, man. Like McFarlane can't do that, Jazzware can't do that. That's outrageously cool. I love that. I really want to know now if Carson collects Halo Mega Constructs, because if he does, uh, even if he doesn't, I have some stuff to send him, man. He must be a Halo fan. I gotta thank him for all these dope products he sent. That is insanely cool. Ah, uh, where are drop pods, man? They haven't been in the last Halo games. It just makes me so sad. They're the best thing about uh, the military, the UNSC. Wow. Okay, the drop pod is... Look how cute that looks, man. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, what else do we have, Carson? What else have you sent me? Right, there's there's something really big in here, so I'm gonna save that to last. Uh, what have we got? Okay. Yeah, these mini balloon LED lights can be replaced. Simply search on Amazon 100 piece balloon mini LED light to order more. Okay, we can get an unlimited supply of them then. Oh, can you tell me what it is? Can you tell me what it is yet? Gotta be careful. Oh man, ah, a fusion coil. Okay, these ones actually have pull tabs. So, oh, well, that's one. Oh. <laughs> That's too, they are really strong lights, no? That is a very strong LED. Whoa, that's amazing. I'm wondering, let's be really gentle. 
Okay, yeah, there we go. So this is the balloon light, I imagine. It sort of just rests in the top and moves around. This, uh, yeah, it comes in all these pieces. This, I guess, is just uh, an inner tubing. Right, so 3D printing, yeah, uses a lot of different kinds of plastic. So there's a couple of different ones there. This is what he means by a balloon LED. That's so cute. That just pops in uh, somewhere. Okay, yeah, it goes like that. It just rests gently. Then we pop the fusion coil skeleton on top. I think what we're seeing here is once the LED activates, it runs till it's done. Does that actually twist lock? Wow, it does. That's, gosh, he's re he really knows his stuff. Pop that back on. So crazy, man. Okay, and then there's tiny little notches. Also, Spartan Prop Creations is a five-star shop and has uh, 1,300 sales. So people really like these products. I absolutely love that. So we got our drop pod and our fusion coil. You can't imagine what's next. <laughs> all right, we got one more small one. This, I'm really excited about. I'm really excited about all of them. Maybe I'm just a basic Halo guy, I don't know, but all of my favorite things seem to be what, what Spartan Prop Creations makes. I love drop pods. Uh, well, fusion cores have had a big resurgence since Halo Infinite, but I especially love this little guy. Whoa, 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 lots of pieces there. Ooh, can you tell me what it is yet? Wow, okay, so that's one side, and look at that, I think it magnetizes together. And that's the other side. Snap them in. Whoa! Are you serious? Oh man, that is legendary. That is so sick. So this is some kind of transparent uh, 3D printing filament. And I guess we can insert one of the balls in there. We pull the tab. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. I guess maybe one of them's red, <laughs> maybe. And we magnetize that together. <gasps> Are you serious, bro, what? is this i am like wow um so like i approached spartan prop creations and i was like you know i'd, I'd love to review some of your products if you want to send them my way but he just I, I didn't i didn't expect this like even on his pictures like no picture does this justice and look at this little forerunner display okay so it's clearly like carson has just invented this on his own it kind of looks like one of the forerunner terminals from halo mega blocks so what's insane about this is like when you twist it out all of these fold back like who how do you design this maybe this video will just age really well because i do want to get into 3d printing so maybe in the future people will watch back at this and be like oh wow he really was serious <laughs> so yeah 343 guilty spark just sits on top of this little four on a dish four in a terminal and is insane man like that's so sick guilty spark drop pod and fusion coil not only do you have this beautiful little guilty spark oh i didn't test if this was a red light of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. The last one is something very big. <laughs> oh my goodness. A Forerunner Spire. This one takes proper battery, so BRB, I'm gonna get myself a screwdriver. All right, a couple of uh, 2032 batteries later, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're almost back on track. Now we're gonna put it all back together again. But man, just look at the design. I genuinely don't know how you do that. Like, how many trial and errors do you have to go through? Like, I've heard with, with uh, 3D printing, it's all about uh, just practice and perseverance. You might go through like 100 failed runs of your mold but then once you actually get your design right and you actually like calibrate your 3d printer correctly then um, it's smooth sailing and it's actually very cheap to do but man the effort the effort to make that I, I I'm very impressed I'm truly very impressed especially the fact that it comes in two pieces you wouldn't even tell would you that's that's such a clean fit clip that bad boy back in these would look even more insane if they were painted as well so I know there's some painters out there that will give it a go three two one let there be light Yes, that's about to shoot a big column of light into the air, 100%. Okay, a uh, side note, I just realized this while I took a break from filming to get that battery pack back on. You can turn these off, like, no problem. I, I was kind of thinking at first, I was like, man, I don't just want to leave it on, that's a bit wasteful. Obviously not, like, <laughs> why would that be the case? So yeah, you can easily just turn those LEDs off by pushing the strip back inside. Because, like, literally, <laughs> like, a few people must have been watching me originally do that and come to the assumption that uh, you, you just couldn't uh, turn it off and been like, Bro, there's no way he'd send a product that, that, that was that, like, uh, unsustainable. Like, you couldn't just leave it on. Yeah, that's... I, I was tripping. Okay. <laughs> um, I also found out 
that the battery pack wouldn't go back on because look at this little slider. So this is on the top here. You can slide it back and forth and that will turn it off and on. So if you align it correctly, you can put the little on off switch inside there. And then I think we'll be able to turn it off and on on demand, which would be great because I don't want to take that battery pack out again. Okay, just with my fingernail, on, off, on, off. Beautiful. Friends, family, across the world, we have four beautiful recreations of iconic Halo characters, scenery, and uh, weapons. I mean, I guess the fusion coil is a weapon now. We got so many things here that I'm so excited about. This fusion coil with two different balloon lights that I've now found can be turned off that light up down this translucent piping. It's beautiful the way you can screw these on to keep them secure, the way that you can turn them off and on. It's magnificent, man. The ingenuity behind this is so impressive. We got a Guilty Spark. All of those really strong lights, like these are actually very high quality. I don't know how long they'll last, but I imagine the battery life is quite a few hours. This Guilty Spark, not only does it come with a red eye as well, which just makes it so much more badass, it also has the same translucent kind of uh, material plastic running here, so you can actually get an after glow from the main LED, an ODST drop pod, feet first into hell, you know what we're like here at the domain, we love ODSTs, so to be able to get an ODST drop pod that actually lights up like this and just switches off so easily, the fact that this door, oh, is that flickering? Are there different light settings to this? Oh gosh, this just keeps on blowing me away. The fact that this is magnetized, insane, like insane. The quality is so much higher than I expected, so, so much higher. And then it just rounds off with this gorgeous spire that I genuinely, I can hear this, I can hear it shooting light into the sky. This whole design blows me away. The fact that this is two different pieces, the fact that the battery pack just sits nicely inside and you can actually turn it off and on just from moving this. The 3D printed piece perfectly aligns with the on off switch and gives that wonderful effect. Guys, you have to. This is a direct order from the domain to check out Spartan Prop Creations. He has blown me away today, and I think he'll blow you away too. He's got loads of stuff that I haven't shown off today, including the Halo 2 4 on a ship that the Master Chief escapes high charity on, and Halo 3 power drain, radar jammer, and flares. And Carson, if you're watching this video, I hope you did enjoy. I hope I did your pieces service. I truly feel like, uh, you know, that nothing is staged here. This is genuine bewilderment and excitement from me. And if you want to work closer in the future, please do let me know. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain in association with Spartan Prop Creations on Etsy. Check him out. Make sure to support the channel and support his content and make sure we continue this down the road by checking his store out and maybe purchasing one of these dope creations. I think if I was going to recommend one of them, it would be this Guilty Spark, particularly the fact that you can have a red eye interchange. Just beautiful. And this, uh, I've never seen something that cool, that magnet, like, ah! Just amazing. So yeah, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the ODST Drop Pod, feet first into hell, is signing off.